Hey, what's up YouTube? It's ICU and in today's video, I have a rather unique tutorial I wanted to share with you guys. It's something I've been thinking about making ever since iOS 13 was announced and pushed out in beta stages. It's how to easily create a PDF on an iOS device without a jailbreak, courtesy of iOS 13 beta, and then how to take full control of said PDF and edit all elements of it on your Mac, utilizing an absolutely awesome tool I've come across called Wondershare PDF Element. Now, it is a premium tool. There is a free version of it. Both links will be down below in the description. You can even get a great discount on it right now if you opt for the premium version. And if you review it, you can even get a free $5 gift card. So all links and everything you need for that can be found down below in this video's description. All right, so first things first, we're going to start out on iOS and then transition to the Mac. First, we have to create the PDF on our iOS device, of course. Now, this is done in one very, very simple way, but you do need to be on iOS 13. Of course, you do not need a jailbreak. In fact, you can't even jailbreak iOS 13 beta. All you need to do is update to it. But if you're on iOS 12, if you're already jailbroken or you're interested in jailbreaking and you're on a lower iOS 12 firmware, do not update. This is only if you really don't care about jailbreaking and or you're just more interested in iOS 13 than you are in jailbreaking. So a complete guide of how to update to the latest iOS 13 beta can be found in your cards right now. It's linked down below, or you can navigate to getiosbeta.com inside of mobile Safari. Once you're actually on iOS 13, you can follow along. So all you need to do is just visit whichever web page inside of Safari that you actually want to capture. Now this can also work in other places as well, but Safari works best for now. And what you want to do is actually scroll all the way down because I'm going to show you guys why. So if you just refresh a page or you just navigate to a page and you take a screenshot of it and you utilize this brand new feature where it does capture the full page, what actually ends up happening is some of the images will not load. Most websites today take advantage of something called lazy loading, meaning they don't actually load the image resources until you scroll down on the page. It's a way to reduce server load. It's actually very clever, but that does result in this kind of blank image effect when you're trying to capture that PDF. So to circumvent that, I'm going to show you guys, all you have to do is just scroll down. You can see all of the images are loading now. And now when we go ahead and take a screenshot like so, and we capture it in PDF form, again, all we have to do is just take a screenshot. So on the iPhone 10 style devices, all you have to do is just push the power slash lock button, or I guess it's not even the power button anymore, the Siri slash lock button and the volume up button together and boom. I mean, you have a screenshot now, and then you just tap on full page up in the top right there, and you can see we have the preview of it right here. So this is the full page captured. All right, so now what do we do? Well, to get it on our Mac, all we actually have to do is tap on this little share icon right here, and then go to AirDrop, and then we just send it via AirDrop to our Mac, and then it just saves inside of downloads. All right, and now transitioning over to our Mac right here, we do have the PDF. I'm going to just open it inside of preview first, so you can see that we can scroll. It's just a traditional PDF. And now I'm going to open the Wondershare PDF element application, and we're actually just going to drag it in to open it. So you can see, here we go. Now we have full control over this PDF, as I mentioned, toward the beginning of this video. Over on the right hand side, you do have your page view, so you can view the actual size of it. You can set it to fit the width of the window. You can fit the height. I mean, really whatever you wanna do, you have the ability to set the view however you want, whatever suits your editing preferences. Of course, you can also hold down Command Plus on the keyboard, just like so, and it will zoom in like that, or Command Minus to zoom back out. So. That's what you have over on the right hand side. In addition to the ability to organize pages, if you have a multi-page PDF, you can see the thumbnail for that PDF. You can view the bookmarks and comment list as well. Now, over on the left hand side is where things get interesting. These are your editing tools. 
So starting over on the left hand side, we do have text. This is kind of different than the OCR tool, which is actually built into this. If you go ahead and download that extension, what this will do is it will scan a document that does not have an editable text field and it will essentially turn it into editable text, which is very, very cool. So I'm going to cancel this because of course we do have editable text fields right here. So I can actually just expound on this so I can type anything I want inside of this text field. We can move it around, we can expand it like so, so it fits on one line. We can even edit the images. So if we go over to the left-hand side, now we can move images around. Any image that is detected inside of the PDF is fair game. So like I said, you guys can take full and complete control over your PDFs utilizing this tool. I absolutely love it. And below images on the left, we can even add links to our PDFs, which is pretty cool. So I can add a specific hotspot inside of this PDF, and I can set it to go to a certain portion of the page when it's clicked. Or, of course, I can add actual links to web pages, which is also very awesome. That's something, of course, that you can't do natively on Mac or iOS, so it's a very awesome and appreciated feature. For now, I'm just going to save this to scroll down. Remember this because I'm going to demo it later. It's going to scroll down right there to the top tweaks section of this page. Um, I believe that's what that is. Or actually, let's make it go to the unboxing section. We're going to hit save. So when you click right here on the iCracker iDevice name, it will scroll down. Um, you can also add, like I said, links to a web page. So if I wanna go to my YouTube channel, I can add that right here, All right? So I'm going to hit save. So that will go to the iCracker iDevice YouTube channel. I'm going to expand that a little bit. So there we go. Um, and then of course you can add or edit PDF form right here. So I'm not going to go too into depth on that. Remember guys, I just wanted to give you a quick example of some of the really awesome tools that this application has and offers you for editing PDFs. Like I said, it's very, very cool. Um, you can't really find these features anywhere else or at least natively because Apple doesn't offer them. I don't know why um, they should. And if you want them, you've got to download something like this. This is the best one by far that I can recommend to you guys. You can see here that I've been highlighting things just while talking. We can actually strike through text, underline. We have the free form pencil or drawing tool as well. I'm going to use command Z to undo that. We can draw in free form. We can change all sorts of things about it as you would come to expect from any sort of markup tool. You can add shapes like arrows, squares, really anything that you want. And uh, yeah, guys, like I said, this is one very incredible tool. It's powerful. And uh, all you have to do once you're done is you just go to file and you go to save as and you save it as really whatever you want. Um, so I'm just going to save it and we're going to close out, open this PDF and I'm going to show you guys that this actually works when we click on it. So like I said, when we click right here on the iCracker iDevice name, it scrolls down to the unboxing section of the PDF. So if you'll notice right here, I'm not doing anything with the scroll wheel. I'm simply clicking and it scrolls down inside of the PDF. How cool is that? And then up here at the top, if I just go ahead and click, it will take me to my YouTube channel. So excuse my slow internet speed right there, but you can see, here we go. It works just as expected. Guys, this has been a quick tutorial of how to fully capture PDFs on your iOS device without a jailbreak on iOS 13 beta and how to then take control of them on your Mac and edit them in really an unlimited way, however you see fit. I hope you guys liked this video. Again, download links for everything can be found below, the free, the premium version, how to get a discount, and of course, how to actually get a gift card in return for a review. Stay tuned for more awesome tutorials. Let me know if you liked this pretty obscure one. It's just something that I thought of that I've been wanting to do for a little bit now. And until next time, this is ICU signing out.